My name is Olami Dun Majekodumi and I'm the founder of the Performing Arts School of Nigeria. I'm also the country manager of Nexford University and I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Uh, I have a very strong passion for performing arts and that's for, uh, developed you know, from when I started dancing at a young age. Further into that passion, I grew a knack for music, drama, theatre and all things artistic. Uh, so I developed the Performing Arts School of Nigeria uh, to help foster that mission around Nigerian children because I want Nigerian children to have the same kind of opportunities I had um, with a well-rounded education. Uh, so the Performing Arts School of Nigeria really serves as a community center for creative arts, creative talents, creative skills. We were founded in Abuja in 2012. We recently moved to Lagos and we're creating several community hubs uh, with our creative center. I'm also the founder of a fast casual restaurant called Suya Bistro. And Suya Bistro, we actually sell Suya, is our main dish and everything creative about Suya. So we have like Suya burgers, Suya crepes, signature rice and Suya, uh, Suya melts, you know, you know, the list goes on. I believe in very strong, well-rounded education and that's, you know, on the academic side of things and even on the extracurricular side of things. I'm a strong believer in the fact that education is the foundation for any society and the value that it brings um, when you have quality education uh, is immeasurable. I have lots of stories on how I've gotten to where I am today. I started off as a dancer. I danced from the age of nine and I had such a strong passion for it. I love dancing. Left up to me, I would be a dancer for the rest of my life. Uh, but my father had different ideas. Um, so he really pushed me into the education side of things. Um, going to university, I studied business management. I also went further to receive a master's. Uh, I have an MBA from the University of Notre Dame. And uh, I also also developed that knack and that passion for business and entrepreneurship and so I was able to combine that side of things with my creative artistic you know dancer side and I was able to you know use that that empowerment to develop the performing arts school of Nigeria and uh, you know along the way I developed other passions you know such as education um, what I'm doing with Nextword and the university and uh, yeah I feel like I'm in a really good place and you know over 90% of my education was abroad uh, and needing to bring that into the Nigerian market, Nigerian society and needing to manage businesses practically in this environment was very challenging I'll definitely say and I had to learn as I went you know there's lots of challenges that have come about and I think in reality you learn through your experiences. Uh, I've had, I have about seven years of experience in you know working and managing in Nigeria now and uh, I can tell you I've learned so much <laughs> and I've had some really strong up and some really strong down especially when you have limited resources uh, you need to walk around that this is extremely challenging getting funding in Nigeria is very difficult and you have to really make people believe in you 300 uh, percent before they can commit to supporting you so i've had challenges of that sort especially in the performing arts industry there's not a lot of attention there's not a, a lot of uh funding so to speak a lot of support in this area so a lot of what i had to put together for the performing arts school um, came out of pocket from my own savings i got some support from family and some friends as well uh, you know that's been my experience absolutely i tried a hundred times failed 99 times but that one time that i actually succeed um, you know really does propel me into the next level it gives me confidence it makes me feel like i can go on and, and do it again you know i actually I always wanted to own a restaurant so I, I know I keep saying oh I always want to do this I always want to do that um, but I'm just a kind of person that has an idea and when that idea just keeps nagging at me nagging at me nagging at me I just do something about it even if it's on the smaller scale and so I had this idea for suya because I you know I've noticed that Nigerians have always eaten suya in the most traditional ways you know you go to your corner malam you grab your suya in the newspaper like there's been no innovation in that space and so the idea came about to do something new unique with suya we all love it we all eat it but we've never really tried it in a different way you know so i played around with some recipes you know tried a suya burger type of thing uh tried a suya melt with cheese you know tried suya chicken and waffles you know and they all tasted fantastic you know and i just 
started the idea you know tested it out with a few people just to have some buy-in and then we were able to you know find a very strong partner spa supermarket you know was able to partner with us grabbed in some space there and just started off with a with a small um, site there and since then we've built it out into a, a bigger establishment and um you know i've started on our third location actually so yeah so I am the country manager of Nextford University and I started working on Nextford before we even had a name. I'm formerly a higher education strategy and operations consultant. Uh, while I worked in New York City and then the idea for Nextford was brought to me through a client. And so I started working on it, you know, as a consultant. And then subsequently I actually moved to Nigeria and, you know, I've been working with Nextford as a country ambassador and now a country manager. So it's been amazing seeing this brand and develop uh, from before we even had a name before we even had our you know ideas together and now starting this month we've started our today actually um, we've opened the doors to our first cohort um, you know, so it's very exciting. Uh, a large number of our students are from Nigeria. So Nigeria is going to be a very huge market for us. And that's our, our goal. And my role at Nextford is to connect the brand with learners, potential learners, potential partners and employers of our students and to really see the brand and uh, the value that we bring to Nigeria and other emerging markets really, you know, materialize, um, you know, with the works of, of my hands and my team. So I actually started off dancing. Uh, I taught the ballet and contemporary dance classes at Past Nigeria, uh, but eventually I was able to find instructors that are even more talented and more skilled uh, at, at what they do than I am. So right now I actually still stop substitute teach, uh, but our instructors are all highly qualified. It is their absolute one trade that they're super passionate about and they throw themselves in. Um, so the kind of attention they're able to give their arts and their craft and their development um, uh, you know we're able to then take that and, and put it into our own curriculum our own lesson plans and it's worked very well for us major challenges besides financial commitments to my dream and also the time commitments um, they've just included the the need to put yourself out there and take risks I used to be quite shy reserved and I was you know I had a serious fear of rejection um, but that had to change when I had to put myself out there and go in and look for partners look for supporters look for people who were mission aligned to support this dream and to support this business and you know all the different activities and ventures we we're looking at at um, you know developing so that's uh, you know a sacrifice in its own is needing to kind of come out of my shell come out of my comfort zone and do what I needed to do for the business to succeed I'm giving back to society in my own little ways. Uh, through PAS, we do different um, initiatives where we actually go out into communities and offer free uh, instructional classes in different areas. Uh, we also open our doors and we do free classes. We have a free week every year and uh, we invite people from all different types of schools, public, private schools. And for example, we have a STEM workshop for just girls. This is open to public and private schools. Now, on a more personal personal level, I'm also a member of a foundation that gives out scholarships uh, for both younger students, primary, secondary school, and even higher education, university scholarships as well. We often, you know, go out into different orphanages, give out donations, give out food and that such. So on a, a more company side of things and a personal side of things, I try to do my little bit um, to add back to society. I have no plans of leaving Nigeria anytime soon. Nigeria is home to me, it's always been. Even when I was abroad, uh, I always couldn't wait to come back home. And uh, there's a time where I actually left for a few years to pursue my master's and get a little bit of work experience. And I ran back, <laughs> I ran right back home uh, after achieving these goals. And I, I don't see myself ever moving out of Nigeria again. Hi, my name is Olami Dun. I am young and I'm Nigerian.